What's going on, guys? Nemo What Ifs here. Um, so, in like yesterday, I, I said that I was gonna do What If Issei and What If Deku was betrayed today or tomorrow. I decided to do it today. So, we're gonna start off with What If Deku was betrayed part six, I think. No, part five. Yeah, part five. So, Last I left off, Issei just finished uh, for his first day of school and stuff like that. Finished his first day of school and he went home and he went to, like, he he lives with Midnight. Remember that? He lives with Midnight and Midnight said, how was your first day? And Izuku said, it was good, mom. It was I. Um, so, yeah. So, Izuku goes to class the next day. Same thing happens, but this time... Then I said, Izuku, you're going to be living in the dorms with everybody else. Izuku, blah, he says, all right, mom. And he goes to the dorms with everybody else. And in the dorms, remember, Aizawa, he adopted Iri. So we'll start off from there. So Izuku, he's not talking to anyone in the class. The class, they're ahead of him. He's like the last person, and he's just walking by himself. And Izuku, he has headphones on, he listening, he's not listening to music, he just has headphones on because he doesn't want to listen to them. So yeah, because he's too busy talking with the dragons. If you don't, if you don't recall, um, so here's the thing. Izuku, he has dragons that are his wives, they are female dragons, not male dragons. There is the, dra the dragon, dragoness I meant. One for destruction, creation, existence, life and death, actuality, fiction... Time and space, and I think there's one for the multiverses. It's it's that it's probably that one, multiverses. So yeah. So I would say there's one for yin and yang, but yin and yang represents life. So yin and yang is a part of the one for life and death. So Izuku, he's with the class. They're enjoying themselves, and Izuku. He goes inside after everyone, and take in mind, East Eerie is with the class. Hold up real quick. So, yeah. Izuku, he is pl No, he just walked in. Eerie, he's playing. She's playing and stuff like that because Aizawa bought her toys. So, she watches as the class walk in, and she... Because remember... Izuku saved Iri, and he had the same type of hairstyle and stuff like that. So, Izuku walks in. Iri sees him, and she thinks, oh, It's the guy that saved me! And she runs all the way to me, and all the way to Izuku, and says, Mr. 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 How are you? And Izuku, he's like, huh? huh? He looks down, and he sees Iri, and he says, Oh, it's you. How are you? And she says, I I'm doing good. After you told me what to do, I had a great, I've been having a good life. And she was like, that's good to hear. But remember, don't tell anyone about our little secret apart from Aizawa. And she says, yeah, yeah. And the rest of the class are wondering, what the hell is he talking about? Especially Bakugo and stuff like that. They were wondering, like, who, especially Bakugo, Ida, Ochako, and stuff like that. They're wondering, what the hell is she talking about? And how the hell does she know him? And, yeah. So... Iri says, can you play with me? Izuku says, sure. And Izuku, he goes to play with her since he has nothing better to do. So, we kick off to the next day. Yeah. And today they're doing heroes versus villains. Yeah. Because in this one, I don't know. Um, I'll probably be doing like redoing everything that happens, like... So, yeah. Look, I'll probably be doing, like, everything that happens in the original anime again, even though it already happened. No. Yeah, even though it already happened, but I didn't, well, get clear into what happened exactly. So, yeah. So, he plays with Eerie. He's having fun. The one, the arc with Eerie and, um, it won't happen. The one with Eerie won't happen. Because I think... Because he killed everybody in the Shia Hisaikai like when I last time. Yeah, he ki he killed all of them. So yeah. 
So he's playing with Eerie. Eerie's having fun. And everybody sees Eerie having fun. They're like, but she never has fun with us or asks us to play with her. And they're wondering, what's so special about him? And they they try to go ask. And they just start getting a sense of danger. Like, touch him and you die. And they start backing off out of fear. And they're like, fine. Damn. But Bakugo, Ida, and... Oh, Chaco, they, they, they're being really reckless. <laughs> they decided to be like, they decided to be really reckless after Izuku was supposedly killed. And Bakugo thinking he's the shit because he has one for all now. Because like, I have the power of the former number one hero. So I'm the next number one. I mean, like, you could say he's the next number one. But like, we all know if Izuku decided to stay on Earth, he would have been the number one. Well, he's going to stay on Earth, but like. Like speak, like speaking, like speak, like imagine, like would would you, like put yourself in Izuku's position? If he decided to be a hero, if he decided to actually stay on Earth and be a hero, would he not be the number one hero? So yeah, so Izuku, he's playing with Iri, he's having fun, and yeah, next day rolls around, have heroes versus villains. They don't know Izuku's name, so they just say. Young Kayama and stuff like that. And this time it's gonna be Uraraka and Bakugo, even though I did that before. You know what? This time it'll be like Ida and Baku. No, Ida and Hochako. Cause why not? <laughs> Cause a murder right before the whole thing, ha right before the incident where an actual murder is supposed to happen. Happens. I know, right? So yeah. So, instead of, Midoriya, he doesn't really care. He just goes to eat. He goes to Ochako, kicks her into a wall, and goes to her again. Kicks her, kicks her, stomps on her, stomps on her, her, her V-card, her V-card, her V. And, yeah, and then Dibs goes to Ida, kicks him in the D, kicks him in the D, stomps on his face, kicks his lips. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot to say. He, he kicked Uraraka's lips too. <laughs> he kicked Uraraka's lips, and he 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 made he made like 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 oh, the, what I'm about to do to them, bro. It's gonna be really disrespectful. Abnormally disrespectful. To Ida mostly, cause remember his lineage, like he's about to be disrespected beyond disrespect. So Izuku he gets the smart idea. Let me make some dog shit. He steps in it, rubs that foot all over Uraraka's mouth, and does the same shit to Ida. Yo, the disrespect. <laughs> so he does that, and they're and they're like, <laughs> and the class they see the the girls. They're like, <laughs> that's what she gets for doing that to Izuku, and yeah. Like, they don't know it's Izuku, but, like, they still wanted, like, somebody to get revenge for Izuku, even if they didn't know about Izuku. So, yeah. Monoma doesn't know and stuff like that. He's gonna know at the sports festival. Izuku's gonna say thanks to Monoma and stuff like that. They're actually gonna become good friends somehow. So, yeah. That happens. And we're gonna push the sports festival back after the training camp arc. Cause this is probably gonna this is probably gonna be the last part or part six. Probably it's either gonna be part six or this part. I I don't know. Or it's part seven. Part prob, prob, probably part seven or part six. Eh, I'm still deciding. It doesn't matter though. So yeah. Oh, this is gonna. Oh yeah. All right, I planned it out. All right. Hmm. If I feel like it, I'll probably be doing what if um Aaron was betrayed. Like this is probably this is gonna be like the first one of like an Aaron what if. Like what if Aaron was betrayed? Like this is gonna be an original. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all what the ship is for Aaron when like that time comes. So yeah, I'm doing what if Issei was betrayed? What if Aaron was betrayed? I'm gonna do what if Aaron was betrayed before Issei because I already have that planned out. So yeah. And 
So yeah, that happened. And now we go to the training camp arc. So Aizawa comes in. He says, all right, class, sit down, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear anything from y'all. Y'all stupid, ugly, retarded. I think I still let y'all slide after what y'all did to me, Doria. Nah, bro. Y'all must think I'm playing games with y'all. <laughs> so he legit says that. He legit says that. He he like he legit he did not sugarcoat it. He legit said that. The class thought they was off the hook when they was like, oh yeah, uh, we did me and stuff like that. Nah, Isaiah yeah, ain't let that slide. He ain't let that slide. Isaiah didn't let that slide. He was like, yeah, no, you're not sliding with that. <laughs> like y'all yeah, y'all yeah, y'all yeah, y'all yeah, messed up my whole favorite student. Like y'all yeah, really think I'm gonna let that slide? Are you dead? Are you dumb? So yeah. So, it's the training camp arc right now, and as you know, they go to the training camp. Shit. So, they go. <laughs> so, they go. The whole, well, before that. And the whole thing happens. And, here's the thing. Shit, shit, shit. I'm still thinking. I remember what happened in the training camp arc, but I'm like, I'm trying to find like how it goes. So they're on the bus. Izuku he's sleeping, and he has noise canceling headphones on. Bakugo thinking he the shit tries to explode Izuku to get him up, and all of a sudden he just feels a hand slap him across the face. But like, it's an it's it's like a, a, an imaginary hand, like not an imaginary a hand. It's actually the hand of of the. Well, it's the hand of, well, actuality and the dragon of existence is slapping him. Like, they created the hand and they just slapped him. Fiction, they did it too because, like, they made it into the shape of the hand. So, yeah. So, Bakugo gets, gets slapped. And gets slapped back into his seat. They don't slap him that hard. They just slap him enough to get him back to his seat. And, yeah, they don't tell Izuku about what happened. They know Izuku's gonna be proud. But he, they already know Izuku saw that, and he smiles, and so they're wondering, like, why is he smiling? And they're confused. They don't really care. So, they get there. Everybody steps out the bus, and the whole thing happens where everybody gets pushed off the ledge. And I'm not going to do that thing where um, Izuku, he protects the girls now. Nah. He doesn't protect the girls. Because he knows that the girls need it if they want to become heroes. Izuku, he doesn't really care about being a hero. Because, like, like I said before, he's finna be, like, a future god. So, yeah. So, Izuku, he, he is basically floating. And they're like, and Pixie Bob is like, hey. You there. You, you you need to go down. As I was like, yeah, um, he's an exception. And they're wondering, like, what the hell do you mean he's an exception? Midnight comes out. Yes, Midnight went with them. Midnight comes around. It's like, yeah, he's an exception. And they're like, what do you mean he's an exception? Um, let's just say this forest would be gone if you try, if you wanted to. And they're like, funny joke, but that's not ha that's not working on us. Izuku, so, he goes, he teleports into another forest, like a secluded forest, like nothing's inside, like it's an empty forest, and he gets a little black hole, the black hole sucks in the whole forest, and they're shocked and traumatized, they're scared as hell, and they're like, I, I didn't know somebody like this existed, and yeah, that happens, so... They go back, Izuku gets back on the bus, and he just dips. And, yeah. So, Izuku, he goes with them. Izuku, he doesn't really need to prepare food like the others do, so he just stays there asleep on Midnight's lap. And, yeah, Midnight says, we'll eat when the class gets here, and they get down back, like, way back. So, like, they just be eating, like, snacks and shit like that, so... Yeah. So, Pixie Bob and shit like that are talking to the class saying, you guys have to eat, like, make food for yourself. Koda comes out, and 
Ida, being Ida, the polite crackhead he is, goes to Koda and says, what's his name? And, and, um, Mandalay, I think, yeah, Mandalay, she says, this is Koda, he's my nephew, I, I think, nephew, right? Nephew? I'm, I'm confused, like, I'm confused on the thing. Like, does he count as a nephew since, like, he's the, like, son of, like, her cousin? We're just gonna say nephew. Hold up. So they say okay, and Ida goes all the way to Koda. He goes to Koda and says, "Hey there, little one. My name is Tanya Ida. If you heard that, that was me closing my window. Don't worry about that." So he, so Koda, he has a stern, pissed off face, and he just punches him in the nuts. And Ida yells out, "Ah!" And Izuku, he hears this. He's like, "Yo, shut up!" And he's stepping out. He's stepping out of the thing. And, um, right now, Izuku, he's wearing a, a sweater and sweatpants. Like, not those tight sweatpants, like Adidas sweatpants type sweatpants. So, yeah. And the sweater. And he has the hood off and stuff like that. So, Koda sees him. Koda... Koda, wait, no, Koda doesn't see him. Koda turns around, he sees him, he says, oh, it's you! And he runs all the way to him and hugs him. And he's, and all of them are like, and Pixie Bob, Mandalay, Tiger, what was that other one's name? Oh, I forgot. The one with the green hair. The one with the green hair. Ragdoll. Yes, I, I finally remembered it. Cause like I, 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 one thing I can remember is their names. I can remember their names, but like I, I, I tend to like get sidetracked from time to time. So yeah, so yeah. And the class is wondering why does he get attention and stuff like that. Bakugo's getting pissed because like he's getting attention and Bakugo's not. And Bakugo makes an explosion. I was like, you're not supposed to be looking at him. You're supposed to be looking at me, the future number one hero. And. The wild wild pussy cats are like, oh, um, mm, uh, sure, uh, whatever you say, man. <laughs> like Tiger says, yeah, whatever you say, man. So yeah, and they get to doing whatever they're doing, and Izuku, it's about bedtime for everyone, and they see Midnight walk into Izuku's room. They think Izuku and Midnight about to do the nasty, so those crackheads follow, thinking, oh, they about to do the nasty, we can get Midnight fired, and this crackhead, like, um, this, this crackhead, like, um, taken out of UA or out of our class, and they go in the room to see Midnight holding Izuku tightly, singing him a lullaby while caressing his hand, they're like, what the fuck, I thought, I thought they was doing the nasty. Because they, because they heard, because they heard, ah, because, well, Midnight fell. Midnight fell. What, what, what do you think that they was doing? You think they was doing the nasty? I made I made Midnight the mom for a reason. Best mom, 2021 and 2020. Yes, sir. Nah. 2041, yes. So, they see that and they're like, what, what the hell? I, th I thought they was doing the nasty. A Bakugo, Ida, Ochako, and they're like, w what? And Ida, thinking he got the upper hand on them, like, Miss Midnight, you should not be doing this. As I walk in, says, yo, move your stupid asses out of my way. And she says, narrow me. When you're done putting him to sleep, can you come? And we have we have to talk about, like, the schedule. And Midnight's like, sure. And Ida's like, Mr. Aizawa, but, like, you don't see it. And Midnight's, and Aizawa says, I see a mother trying to put her child to sleep. So, I, I don't see what you see. And they're like, what? Mother. Mother. The, the, oh, shit. <laughs> Midnight. They look back at Midnight with Midnight got a stern, sh strict face. Like, yes. Did he stutter? And they're like, ah, you know, we gotta go. So, we'll see you in the morning. And then I was like, yeah, we could talk about this in the morning, but I'm still not fucking with y'all. And it was like, yeah. Um, so they go back. And that happens. 
so Izuku he gets put to sleep oh no I'm moving too far ahead doesn't matter I still have like two other what ifs to get into take in mind the Issei what if is gonna be shorter and Attack on Titans what if oof Attack on Titans has four seasons so I can't really see like Attack on Titans only has four seasons so Attack on Titans is gonna be like as short as like this one right now like it's gonna be like what if Deku was betrayed at the moment but like remember there's like more parts to come and I can and I don't feel like willing like um like doing like the spoilers of the um manga so yeah so it's the next day, everybody wakes up, they see Izuku in the kitchen, eating, and they're wondering who the hell made him food, and why isn't there any for me? They just see Midnight in the next day in the kitchen, like, Izuku, um, do you need water with that? And they're like, Midnight made him food, and they're like, um, why didn't we get food? And Izuku's like, she didn't make the food, though. <laughs> and they're like, then who did? Izuku said, I, I did. And they're like... Why didn't you make any for us? And Izuku says, you don't have to worry about that. You'll learn about that soon enough. And they're wondering, soon enough? What the hell do you mean, soon enough? So, they start doing their training. Bakugo does the same explosion training, but he does Deku's training this time. They don't train Deku, really. And the only thing they really do is tell Midnight to put Izuku to sleep, because, well, this man does not sleep at all unless he's, like, babied. So... Yeah, so Izuku's sleeping. The class is wondering, how the hell does he get to sleep while we're doing while we're doing work? And Midnight says, mind your own business and go back to your training. Aizawa says, facts. <laughs> so yeah, and Aizawa knows that he can't cancel out Izuku's quirk because well, it's not really a quirk. It's just a power, and if he does, he probably has a chance of well killing many people. Innocent, not innocent. So yeah. So, it's the end of the training camp arc. They go back to UA. And... The first thing Bakugo, Ida, and Ochako do is... They run all the way to Nezu's office and say, Principal Nezu, can we come in? And Nezu's like, uh, um, sure. The sure. So they woke in and said, um, Principal Nezu, the new student at midnight was in bed together, and Nezu's like, oh my god, why are you bringing this up to me, exactly? They're like, wait, isn't, is, that's not allowed, though. And Nezu says, yeah, between teacher and student, they are mother and son. And they're like, what? How come he said the same thing? And, yeah, that happens. And, yeah. So, training camp arc's done. And, oh. And, now, oof, yes, they go back to I Island. <laughs> they go back to I Island. But this time, for training. So, as you know, Melissa sees Izuku in the back of the class, listening to music, goes to him, hugs him, and says, Thank you for what you did. But she doesn't say exactly what he did. Izuku says, Yeah, you're welcome. And Baku goes pissed. He ain't getting attention. So, they go all the way to that break ma breaking robot machine. And they, and they're, and Baku go, he gets... Three, mm -hmm. what did he get last time? Like four seconds or some shit like that. Four or five seconds. This time he gets like uh, two point five. Yeah, two point five. Yes, I'm making it so that he can only use like the percentage that Izuku could at in the second second um chat. Damn it, not chapter, uh, season, yeah. Because remember, in the second season, he could only use 5%. So, yeah, that happens. And he gets 2.5, and 
Bakugo points at Izuku and says, beat that, and... Right, Izuku steps on the platform. Melissa knows what's about to happen, and... Right when it, right when the buzzer bings, everything is destroyed, and it says point zero 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 one second, and they're like, what the. And everybody is like, what the fuck type of demon is this? And Bakugo, and Bakugo, he's severely frustrated and pissed. And he's like, I don't care. I'm going to beat him. And yeah, they do the training thing. Except for Izuku. He just goes around exploring this time. Because last time he didn't really get to explore. So, yeah. And Melissa said, Dad, don't let him fighting don't let him train he doesn't need training and stuff like that and he's wondering why and melissa says i'm afraid i can't tell you that that's a secret between us but you will probably know in the future so yeah and take it mine dave don't fucks with all my grand torino don't train um bakugo no more so that nigga does not use 20 percent he's not getting past 20 i'm telling you how this now I, he is not getting past 20%. Like, he is not. So, yeah. Now it's time for the sports festival. Oh, to be a part of the sports festival. One of the best things in the world. Alright. So, it's time for the sports festival arc. <laughs> I know I've been saying like Izuku for the past like few videos, but that's only me saying it. They don't know it's Izuku, like remember that. So they're gonna know now. Like not exactly now, but soon. And And yeah. So first of course comes the obstacle. No, they say class representative. Since Izuku just came, they said they wanted to... Like, Nezu said, was like, I want you to be, like, class representative. Izuku, Izuku was like, nah. And that's, that's, that, I'm too, nah, I just don't want to do it. And he was like, alright, I'm gonna have to give it to Bakugo then. And yeah. When All Might hears Bakugo is a class representative, he's like, yes, I'm so proud of you, young Bakugo. Not knowing that Izuku was supposed to be, like, the first one, but, like, yeah. So, everybody's watching. They're not really, like, Miracle, Ryuku, Mount Lady. When Bakugo steps on the stage, you just start, like, losing focus. Like, um, um, stuff like that. Not really paying attention. And the heroes notice that Ryuku and Miracle are not, and Mount Lady are not paying attention. They're like, what's their beef with him? And they're wondering that, but, uh, they said, eh, it doesn't matter. And, yeah. So, first comes the race. The race is a funny thing. <laughs> oh, the race is funny. It's one funny, it's one hell of a, well, overkill. So, Midnight already knows what hap what's happening, what's about to happen. Izuku said, I'm gonna just make this quick. So, Izuku, he waits until everybody gets out. Like, remember, the ice ain't touch him. The ice ain't touch him. He got a barrier around him, so. Mm, he got a barrier around him, so the ice ain't touch him. So, he waits until everybody dips. So, those three guys, Uraka, Bakugo, and Ida, think, oh, we're ahead of him. Uh -huh. We're better than him. And then a few seconds later, once everybody gets out, and he waits until everybody is in, um, minefields. Then, the heroes, the heroes are wondering, why the hell is he not moving? What is wrong with him? Can you move? Endeavor yells out, can you at least try, even though you know you're gonna lose? 
And Min Midnight yells out, Endeavor, shut up before I slap you. And Endeavor says, I'd like to see you try. Midnight goes up there, slaps him. And and this man's Endeavor, he thought he was about to hit. He gets up, about to hit her. And he just sees Izuku Midoriya in front of him. Izuku has his face in his hand. Like, he has this man's face in his palm. He lifts him up and slams his head on the on the, on the um, on on the metal, and this nigga is knocked out. He is knocked out. And yeah, midnight sees Izuku and says, "You know, you didn't really have to do that. That's kind of overkill. Even if it's even if it's to like a man that's about to hurt your mom." Izuku says, "Yeah, that's the point. He was about to hurt my mom." And Miracle and Ryuku and Mount Lady said, "Aww, so cute." Midnight is flushed. Like, she's flustered. Not like, like, um, that type of flustered. Just flustered. Because, like, he said, like, the mom thing and stuff like that. So, she goes down and says, Izuku Midoriya is first place. Then they say, Katsuki Bakugo is second. Todoroki is third. So, yeah. So, next is say, it's the Calvary battle. First place has 10,000 points. People try to go to Izuku. Izuku says, nah, I don't want to be on the team with you. Izuku says, mom, I'm going to be on the team by myself. Midnight says, yes, sir. I'm not like, yes, sir. She says, go ahead. And right when she says start, Izuku just starts floating. And he takes out a pillow. And he lays down on the pillow. Everybody tries to get him. And he keeps getting pushed back. Because, well, the pillow is, like, a really strong pillow. And plus, he has the barrier around him. He's mostly laying down and sleeping on the pillow. Hold up real quick. So, that happened. Um, So, next, it's the 1v1 fights. First is Young Kayama versus Tenya Ida. And like I said, I'm about to make a meme out of Ida. This man's Ida. He's about to get a meme made out of him. So... Like, if there's an artist, like a flipbook artist or any type of artist or a video making artist, bro, I want you to make this. I want you to make this, bro. Alright, so first off, this man Zizuku, before Ida could even run, like, everybody just sees Ida just getting slapped from left to right and Izuku. Every time he slaps him, he yells out, I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> like, he is just slapping him saying, fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. And he keeps getting louder every time he slaps him. And Ida, he's knocked out from the slaps. And Midnight says, damn. He's, he says, damn, young Kageyama wins. Then, Hochako versus Midoriya. Hochako, she touches herself to make herself lighter. Izuku increases gravity on her every time she touches herself. And then she gets knocked out from the gravity. Izuku Midoriya wins. And now it's time for the Bakugo and Izuku fight. So... Izuku, he gets on the stage, and Midnight says, are you ready to tell him, or do you want, like, to do it afterward? Izuku says, nah, you can tell him now. It's fine anyways. It's not like they could really do anything about it. And they're like, alright. And he said, and she gives a thumbs up to Mike and says, roger that. Alright then, so he hasn't really wanted his name to be known to anyone because he knows what would happen. So... This young champ's name is Izuku Midoriya. And Bakugo, Ida, Uraka hear this and said, How? You're supposed to be dead. All oh my gets up and yells that out too. And Izuku says, Yeah, I'm supposed to be dead after y'all killed me. Or supposedly killed me. And yeah, shit like that. And Izuku says, But y'all can finish the job. And Bakugo says, That's why your mom's dead. And then. Like, take in mind, I'm right there just watching it, and then I hear that. I guess I'm really pissed. Like, my aura starts leaking, bloodlust leaking, pressure leaking, Izuku. He yells out, Dad, chill! And then I come out of hiding, he's like, can, can I kill him? And Izuku's like, nah, alright? You don't have to kill him. So, Izuku, he beats the doodoo -doo out of Bakugo. <laughs> he beats the doodoo -doo out of Bakugo, and then he dips. And... Yeah, he, he dips. So, because he's not taking the award from All Might. <laughs> All Might tries to give it to Midnight. Midnight dips. Tries to give it to Aizawa. Dips. Tries to give it to Vlad. Dips. Tries to give it to Mike. Dips. Tries to even give it to Nezu. Dips. <laughs> like, 
why. And, like, take in mind, like, none of the One for All users have been helping him. Not, like, take in mind, I know there's the theory about, like, Bakugo and Kirishima being, like, in third and fourth, second, second and third user. So, yeah, we're just gonna make that happen, and they're not supporting them him either. So, yeah. And almost wondering why, and stuff like that. But we're not gonna get to that now. We're gonna get to that in part six. And that's gonna be it for part five. Um, I'll see you guys later. This is Nemo Woodis.